Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fadi in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful show more and show less option by using Elementor free version. Here initially we can see some curves. Now from here if I click on this show more button you see all the details contents are appearing here. Also the show more button has been changed to the show less button. Then if I click on this show less button you see the details content has been hidden. And I will show you how you can make it very very easily just by using Elementor free version. So without further ado, let's now go inside Elementor page builder. So right now we are inside Elementor page builder. By the way, we will be using Elementor flex container in this tutorial. So make sure from your WordPress dashboard, go to Elementor from there. Let's go to settings. Now from under the experiments tab, make sure your flexbox container option is active. All right, let's now go back inside Elementor. Now here first I wanna take a container so click on this plus icon and here I'm taking this two container structure and actually I wanna take another inner container so let's just duplicate one of the inner container here. So we have now three containers within the main container. Let's now select the main container. I'm making its height to VH and let's make it 100 VH. Also from here I'm making the justify content to centered, align items to centered. So all the inner containers will be vertically and horizontally centered. Also here I'm adding the gap to 20 pixel. All right, so let's now start with the middle container. Let's select it. First I wanna give it a width and I'm giving it in pixel. So let's make it 300 pixel. And actually I wanna make all these inner containers width to 300 pixel. So let's select it. I'm making its width to 300 pixel. Also the right one, let's make its width to 300 pixel. All right, like I said, let's start with the middle container. And here temporarily, I wanna add a minimum height with this container. So here I'm giving the minimum height to 400 pixel. Now I wanna add a background color with it. So from under the style tab, I'm adding a background color, kinda black or gray color like this. And then I want to add some border radius. So from here, I'm adding 16 pixel of border radius. So if you have a look, you see the corners are now rounded. All right. And now I want to add some inner space. So go under advanced tab from here. I'm unlinking the padding at the left and right. I'm adding 30 pixel of padding. Then at the top, let's add 60 pixel and bottom. I'm adding 40 pixel of padding. Now within this container, click on this plus icon here. First, I'm dragging an image widget. Let's select the image. I'm selecting this image, click on insert media and here go under style tab. I just want to give it a width. So here set pixel and I'm giving it 80 pixel of width. Then underneath this image, click on this Rubik's cube icon. And from here, I'm dragging the heading widget here. And I wanted to say just at Jim Fahad digital. Now I'm making its alignment to centered. Now go under style tab here. I'm giving the text color a kind of gray color. And from the typography, I'm making a size to 14 pixel and font weight to 400. All right, now underneath this heading, I want to take a inner container. So click on the Rubik's cube icon and from here, I'm dragging this container underneath this heading here. Now with this inner container, make sure you have selected this container. First of all, I'm making its direction to row and then I'm making its justify content to space between. So all of its inner items will be aligned properly. And also I just want to remove all these spaces. So go under advanced tab, unlink the padding. I'm making all of them zero, but only with bottom I'm adding 20 pixel of padding. All right, now click on this plus icon. Here inside, I want to insert icon box. So from here, I'm searching for icon box. Here you go. Let's drag this icon box within this inner container here. So first I want to replace this icon. So here I'm searching for inbox. Let's select it, insert it. I know you can see it yet, but we will be changing its color very soon. And now from here, I'm making the view to stacked. Also the shape I'm making it to square. And you know what? I don't want this description. So I'm removing it from here. And within the title field, I just want it to say message. Then underneath here, scroll down here. I'm making the title HTML tag to div. All right, let's now do some styling with it. Go under the style tab here. First with this icon, I'm making its primary color to white and I want to reduce its opacity like this. And then the secondary color, I want to make it a kind of gray color. And then from here, I'm making the spacing to zero and the size I'm making it to 20. 
Also, let's make the border radius size to 6 pixel. Alright, let's open the content and here I want to make the title's color to the same gray color and then from the typography I want to make it really small. So here I'm making the font size to 10 pixel and font weight to 400. Alright, now I just want to simply duplicate this icon box. So let's duplicate them couple more time, duplicate it and let's duplicate it one more time. And now I just want to quickly change all these icons and text. Alright, now underneath this, I want to add another inner container. So click on this Rubik's Cube icon and here I'm dragging the container underneath this content here. Now, you know, first of all, I just want to remove this default padding. So go under advanced tab and I'm making the padding to zero. And again, within this container, click on this plus icon and here I'm searching for icon box. Let's drag the icon box inside this inner container here. And you know what, I just wanna do an interesting thing here. First of all, I'm using here icon box, but I don't wanna use the icon. So from here, click on this delete icon. I wanna only use this title and description field. So here within the title, I'm naming it display name. And here within the description, here I'm putting my name, that's Jim Fahad. And also from here, the title HTML tag, I'm making it to div. Now let's scroll up, go under the style tab. I'm making the alignment to left. Now here I'm making the title's color to a dark gray color. Then from its typography, I'm making its size to 14 pixel and the font weight to 500. Also the description color here, I'm making it a brighter gray color like this. And similar like the title, I'm making its font size to 14 pixel and font weight to 500. And you know, then I just wanna duplicate it couple more time. Let's duplicate it one more time. And here quickly I'm changing all these texts. By the way, this email address and phone number is completely fake. All right, now underneath this container, I wanna put a button widget here. So click on this Rubik's Cube icon and here I'm dragging this button widget underneath this container here in this place. Let's drop it. But I think this button has been inserted within this container. But I don't want that. I want to put this button outside of this inner container. So let's just move it outside of this container here. So just make sure all these details content, they are all wrapped within this inner container. And this button is outside of this inner container here. All right. So let's select this button. Here, first of all, I just want to change this text to show more. And then from here, I'm making the alignment to justify it. So it takes the whole width. All right. And then I just want to duplicate this button. So duplicate it. And here, instead of show more, I just want it to say show less. So we are almost done with our layout, but from the parent container, I mean with this middle container, let's select it. You may remember from under its layout, we have given some temporary minimum height. So now I want to remove this minimum height from here. All right. Now I just want to add some entrance animation with some elements. It's not mandatory just to make it look a bit cool. So first of all, let's select this area where you will be putting all the details content. So I have selected this inner container from under its advanced tab. Let's open the motion effects. I'm giving the entrance animation to fade in down like this. All right. Now with this show more button, go under advanced tab from the entrance animation. I'm just making it fade in. Also with this show less button, go under advanced tab, open the motion effects. The entrance animation, I'm giving it fade in. But I want to make the animation duration to slow. Also, I'm adding 700 ms of delay. All right. Now, this part is very important. Here, we will be adding some necessary classes with the parent container, with the details area, also with the buttons. So, let's start with the parent container. In this case, this middle container. So, I'm selecting it. Go under its advanced tab. Now, scroll down. Within this CSS classes field, I will be adding a class name that will be profile card. I mean profile dash card. 
and remember you need to write exactly this class name otherwise the effect won't work all right then i'm selecting this inner container in your case you need to select the container that wraps all the element that you want it to be shown and hidden and not necessarily that has to be a container that could be any other element as in my case is the container so i'm selecting this container from under advanced tab within the css classes i'm adding the class name that's details dash area all right let's now select this show more button and here i'm adding the class name to show dash more then with the show list button you know the obvious with uh within the css classes field i'm adding the class name show dash less all right now i wanna add another class name with two of the elements the two elements that i don't want to be shown at the initial state in my case i don't want this details area to be shown at the initial stage so let's select this inner container and here you see we already have applied the class name that's details dash area but here i want to add another class name with this so to add multiple class name with a single element all you need to do just put a space after the existing class name then write the second class name here so the second class name would be content dash hide like this and also i don't want this show list button at the initial state so let's select it let's scroll down and you know just after show list i'm um, just pressing a space and adding the same class name that would be content dash hide i know this show list button and this details content is not been hidden yet but it will be hidden very shortly before that i just want to duplicate this card so here let's duplicate this card one time and here i'm duplicating it another time and from the left and right i'm removing the empty containers like this and then you know i just want to quickly change all these contents all right i have changed all the contents now to make this show more and show less work i just want to add a very simple code snippet and to add the code snippet let's click on this rubik's cube icon and from here i'm searching for html widget and you know you can put this html widget anywhere of the page so here let's scroll down i just wanna drag this html widget underneath here and within this html field i wanna paste some javascript snippet that i already have written for you so to get that code snippet you just need to go to jimfahaddigital.com i will put this pages link in the description from that page if you scroll down here you see it says show more or less j snippet so from underneath here let's just copy this whole snippet let's copy it go inside elementor and paste the snippet here and here we go actually here i have written a very simple jquery snippet if you're comfortable with jquery you will understand it very easily all right let's minimize it and now to save our work click on this green update button now to preview it click on this eyeball icon and here we go initially we can only see this card contents now if i click on this show more button we can see all the details content here and also the show more button has become the show less button now if i click on show less you see the main content has been hidden and you see it's working perfectly with all the cards here how cool is that and don't worry about the mobile responsiveness because if i now go inside elementor as we have taken their width to 300 pixel there wouldn't be any problem on any device only to double check let's now click on this responsive mode you see on desktop it's looking great if i now go to the tablet on the tablet device it's also looking great if i now go to the mobile device they're looking perfect all right let's close the responsive view i hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever i will upload a new video on this youtube channel and if you want me to help you on your wordpress project or elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com i will try my best to help you personally once again thank you so much for watching this tutorial i will see you in the next video for now bye bye